I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Senator Roy Blunt touted NATO and voiced his support for Finland and Sweden joining the military alliance on the Senate floor Tuesday. Blunt was a part of the congressional delegation who traveled to the two nations and the NATO summit in recent weeks. The Missouri Republican spoke about his continued support of Ukraine during Russia's war on the country. Blunt argued that after Russian President Putin launched his war on Ukraine, quote, he might have been most surprised by what's happened at NATO. Listen in as he explains. Mr. President, I want to join with my five colleagues who've been here today and the two people who were with us, uh, Senator Fisher uh, and Senator Durbin. I would say that uh, one of the great things about uh, this effort was the, uni the unanimous feeling that all seven of us had about both what's happening in NATO and our commitment to win in Ukraine. Uh, we were able to demonstrate that to every group we met with, from every country we met with. Uh, I think with the strong leadership of uh, Chairman Shaheen and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Tillis that it made an impression on where we were and the unity that we have on this. It would be interesting to know if Putin was more surprised by the Ukrainian resistance, the poor performance of his own military, or my guess would be he may have been most surprised by what's happened at NATO. The great turnaround of the NATO, the current NATO countries and their commitment uh, to NATO, their commitment to what they have been willing to do and pledged to do with NATO, and then to see these two incredibly important security contributors uh, join NATO after 73 years of being neutral in an important part of the world and saw that as part of their long-term commitment with both Finland and Sweden, who, by the way, have been uh, NATO contributors for some time now in terms of being willing to be part of NATO missions, training with their future NATO allies, all that incredibly important. But these countries not only bring incredible security uh, uh, contributions to NATO, but they also bring significant geographic contributions to NATO. Uh, when you look at a map, suddenly not just Norway that's been in NATO, but Sweden and Finland in NATO has an incredible impact on the ability of what happens in the, in the uh, Baltic. Uh, that's um, important to us as we look to the future. Uh, now with the exception of Russia, every country that borders and has part of a claim on the Arctic will be a NATO country. Uh, this is a part of the world we've been talking about much more the last five years than we did the previous 25 years. To have this NATO unity as we look at the Arctic is an important thing. The 800-mile um, border that Finland has shared for years and defended for years against Russia uh, doubles the NATO border in Europe. The um, intimate understanding that both Sweden and Finland have of Russia brings a different point of view and a helpful point of view to NATO. Uh, and for the current members, particularly the new members of NATO, when you look at these Baltic countries of Estonia and Latvia and Lithuania, and then look at Poland and Romania, seeing that what happens when the unity is created uh, and the force multiplier is there, uh, you've heard my colleagues already talk about the jet planes, the submarines, the Navy, the Air Force, that both of these people bring, the cyber ability that both of, both of them bring to the fight is real. You know, in a meeting that I was with before uh, this meeting occurred with the Latvian defense minister, the Latvian defense minister, uh, one of the newest members of NATO, one of the most vulnerable members of NATO as we've looked at NATO for some time, said, we don't want to be rescued by NATO. We want to be defended by NATO. I think today we see the growth of NATO. We see a NATO that's willing to do its job defending uh, its members in this most successful um, alliance of all time. Never been anything like it. President uh, Truman uh, was a leader, leader in putting this together in 1949. Here we are, 73 years later, Within my view, NATO not only is its largest group of members, but also its most powerful and committed group of members in the history of uh, this alliance. I look forward to being on the Senate floor uh, when the Senate